first of all, thank you for coming out. It is a great, great morning. Um, a little chilly, but by the time we get to school, we'll be warm. Our blood will be flowing. We'll be ready to go. Safety. Okay, I have many parents here, many teachers here. Students, your job is have fun, stay safe, and that means stay on the sidewalk. Okay, do not go near the street. Do not step into the street. Okay, this is some. This is our second annual one. This is our second one we've done. Last year was wonderful. I've already got more kids this year, and we still got about five more minutes. Street. Um, I have Miss Haru, Miss Larkin, and Miss Fitter are going to lead the line. When you get there, okay, they're going to stop you at that corner. They're going to stop the traffic. Okay. All right. And then we can. Okay. And when you get to school, when you get to the door, okay, there's going to be pencils for you. Um, for you taking part in this walk. And if you're wearing a hat, I see some fancy ones around. You can wear them throughout the day, even if they're a Yankee hat. <laughs> All right. All right, so perfect. Um, now the reason why we are doing this, kids, this is our second annual. There's a couple people I'd like to point out in the crowd. I, I know Dr. Weed is right behind me and Marsha Pickard. She is up oh, right over here to the left. They're the ones who brought this to Forever with the heat program, which we have on Friday mornings. You come in the where we start talking about nutrition, and there's that saying, it's time to walk the walk. Well, we keep talking about these healthy initiatives. You get your breakfast program. We're trying to get you to eat healthy snacks. We're trying to get you to exercise more. Before gym class, you are doing the jump ropes. You were doing that last year. We're trying to get you to get take part in a healthy lifestyle. Okay, that doesn't mean just one day walking to school. Okay, this can become a regular thing. You can have mom, dad, grandma, grandpa, whoever drops you off, park two blocks away and walk every single morning in. If it's cold, put an extra jacket on. Put on a hat, put on some gloves. Okay, you can stay warm. You ask many of the teachers, including myself, we walk to school and from school, and you'll hear those stories. When we were younger, we walked through two feet of snow and all of that, okay? But really, it was cold, we did it. Even though Mr. Ward looks young, I did walk to and from the point of this, to get you used to walking to school, getting ready, it starts the day on the right foot, families are involved, you can have conversations then, and then they start their morning with breakfast as soon as they get there. So it's a good start to the day. It gets the blood flowing, it gets their mind thinking, and that's the whole thing is a lifestyle. We set the example by walking to school, they're going to start taking that on, that they have to start maybe walking, riding, bike. We can't really ride bikes, but in the summer, ride bikes and whatnot. So that healthy lifestyle, that's the purpose of doing it. So with that being said, it's right exactly 8 o'clock. I'm going to have Miss Haru, Miss Larkin, and Miss Fitta. I know she's somewhere around here.
So, what do you think of today's walk? I think this is wonderful. The weather was cooperative. Finally, Mother Nature cooperated, and the kids are all excited. And people I was talking to on the way down said that they were they were having fun, and it felt good, and they wanted to do it again. That's what we wanted. All right. My name is Michael Ward. I'm now the principal over at the Spencer Board of School, and this is the second walk. This is the walk. Purpose of today's walk is the International Walk to School Day. The turnout was even better than last year. So this is great. As I was telling the kids, we've been saying it's time to walk the walk. We keep talking about what healthy lifestyle, nutrition, healthy snacks, getting a breakfast in the morning. So this is a great turnout, and hopefully we can let us parents know, park a couple blocks away, stop walking the kids in. So this is the lifestyle we want the kids to, in Florida, in Spencer Borden, to have. So thank you.